now that we have mobile phones with great GPSs and all sorts of good gadgets on them, we're looking for a new kind of game, one that you play outdoors. And Explorance is going to show us that game right now. Who are you? I'm Mike Supervici. I'm the co-founder of Explorance, uh, and we make outdoor video games. I grew really frustrated with all my friends taking to video games instead of going outside, so we decided to start a company to make outdoor video games. So how are you going to get me off my uh, Xbox Kindle or a uh, Kinect or off my Wii and get me outdoors? By uh, turning outdoor recreational activities into really fun activities by augmenting them with game mechanics, uh, sound effects, uh, all sorts of uh, different things that the new sensor technologies and phones can provide us with. Yeah. Is this sort of like geocaching? Because that's a real popular outdoor game that you sort of play with your GPS, but do you I, think I, of it like that or is it something totally radical? Different? I see geocaching more in the location-based gaming uh, area. So a location-based game is something like uh, Scavenger, maybe uh, My Town's Booyah. And what a location-based game is, is you go to a location, you whip out your phone, the GPS verifies that you're there, you then maybe take a picture of something in case of geocaching, maybe you find an object, you put the phone back in your pocket and you go somewhere. What we do is we make outdoor video games. We turn your phone into a Wii and you into the controller. Okay, explain, take, take me along. I have you know, a 17 year old, I might wanna play this game with him, what do I do? Well, a, a good way to do that is uh, to talk about our first game, which is called Dash. So Dash is a race. Um, your phone tracks how fast you go, how far you go, how high you go. So we use a lot of these sensor technologies to um, make sure that uh, you're, we're, we're identifying when you're at the start line, when you're at the finish line. So uh, with Dash, for example, you go to the start line, uh, you get a prompt, and you can't start the race until you're obviously at the start line. You hit start, three, two, one, gunshot, sound effects start playing. This is something we fully imagine you playing with, with headphones on. As soon as you cross the finish line, you get a round of applause, you get placed on a leaderboard. So we use uh, a lot of geofencing around a point, sound effects, just like any other video game except that it's outdoors. One of the big things about Dash is that it allows you to do asynchronous races. So uh, yes, there's gonna be some preset courses as well, but people can actually go create a race and say, hey, uh, try to beat me in this race and you can come back and do it on Sunday and see if you can beat me on that same track that, that we went ahead and we've also created this wager system where you can literally wager against your friends so you might want to you know do a race now and then come back in a couple weeks and maybe your friend can beat you. Can you mix the race metaphor with um, let's say a, uh, a treasure hunt for instance uh, oh you have to go through Chinatown in San Francisco and here's the starting point here's the ending point but along the way, you have to maybe take a picture or, or buy something or, or verify that you saw or ate something you know, along the way? Sure, so um, at, at, at this point, um, you know, this is a private beta, so we try to keep it really simple. But as part of our long-term roadmap, yes, that's exactly the point. Uh, people are gonna be able to create checkpoints and are gonna be able to leave all sorts of different things at those checkpoints as part of the actual experience. This is Android only, or is it iPhone as well? So we're currently in private beta and, pri and testing it on, on Android. We're going to launch on both iOS and Android. Okay. Launching will be later this year? or Yeah, later this year. Okay, but you're, you've already released a few beta, uh, beta invites? Sure, sure, exactly. We've released a few beta invites. Okay. Um, how are you, uh, we'll see it a little later, but how are you going to make money with this? Uh, virtual goods, uh, similar to the way social games make money, well, we're bringing that to outdoor video games. So the, 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 what we've done right now is we've um, introduced this, this wager engine, which I briefly touched on, so the idea that you're going to be able to wager against your friends uh, as to who can actually win the race. And so we feel that people are going to eventually run out of coins and they're going to want to buy more coins to do so. In addition, we think that with these coins, they want to buy superpowers. So for example, you might be able to buy uh, a skin that's a completely different color than the one you have right now and that allows you to earn more points faster. Um, so we're still in the process of perfecting what those are, but we've definitely got some ideas in that space. Okay. Uh, are there, is there handicapping? Because I'm not in as good shape as you are, so if we're <laughs> racing, uh, I know you're going to beat me. 
at, at any speed based game so is is there games that aren't speed based related related are there collection games or something else that we can do sure so on, on top of our platform, we do have a timeline where we're going to release a variety of different other games. Dash is just our first game where we want to show off what we can do with some of our technology. And so far, it is uh, only skill-based, only speed-based, and we do not have any sort of like handicapping. But that's actually a really good idea and might want to put that into our timeline for future game releases. Okay. Uh, for something like skiing, can you um, track how many runs I do in a day or how much... Uh, vertical feed I do in a day and play a game like that. Sure, so we have all that information we're collecting and with this first game dash we're just not displaying it to the user but uh, definitely we can uh, allow the user to see more and more information as uh, you know the games become more and more sophisticated. Cool. Tell me a little bit about uh, what it looks like and when maybe even show it to me. <laughs> sure, um, so, <clears throat> so this is dash yeah. and we try to keep it really simple. Uh, you can create and you can compete in races. So when I go here to create, what I see is a list of races that are nearest, nearest to me, and there's also a wager um, on it. So the race creator can actually wager on the race. So if you were to set up a race, you say, this is, I'm gonna wager 25 coins and I can do it, and then uh, you can go ahead and actually select a race, and if you wanna go ahead and wager, you hit game. And then you can see here the uh, green uh, area is the the starting area and that's the finish area yeah. and you can only start when you're actually precisely in that area and then you can and then we automatically figure out when you get into the finish area when we stop the timer um, and put you place you in a, in a leaderboard so I think every game's got obviously every race got a leaderboard got it Tell me a little bit about how your company's funded, uh, some of the fundamentals of the company. So uh, right now the, our fundraising is undisclosed, but um, the, uh, we are uh, a team of three, um, myself and two other engineers, um, very strong platform experience, which is essentially where we're taking uh, this company. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, right now, again, we're in private beta and we're getting ready to launch a product in a few months. When you say platform, what do you mean? Well, we want to become the default platform for outdoor video games. This is how we're going to turn your phone into a Wii and you into the controller. Okay. So there's an API then that I can build your technology into my game? Uh, we have definitely built this on top of our own API. We just haven't released, okay. released it. So there'll be a SDK coming Correct. soon? Okay. Um, cool. Where do mm -hmm. I learn more about the game? And Just uh, go to explorance.com um, and then just uh, you can sign up and you'll be able to get, uh, you'll be able to get uh, news updates on our company. Okay. And you guys are on Twitter and Facebook? And yeah, maybe definitely. Google At Plus Explorance, facebook.com slash Explorance. We're on it. Very cool. Yeah. Are you doing any social play here, by the way? So the, uh, this is a tied in right now with all the uh, major social networks. Obviously, if you win something, you get, get to post it. And we also have some other ways. Uh, that we're working on right now as to how you, people can actually interact with you from the actual social network, but they're, they're not yet quite as developed as they, yeah. uh, where they need to Well, go. that might be interesting for a charity, you know, hey, do this course and we'll pay a dollar to the charity or something like that, and that could be a fun way to interact with brands as well. Yeah, definitely, especially uh, creating some sort of a, a way for users to be able to actually interact with them person that's actually doing a race from within Facebook or from within Google Plus. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for coming out and uh, sure. showing it to me, and uh, let's go out and play with it a little bit. No problem. Thank you so much. Thanks. All right. What's our race here? Uh, so let's see here. So I go here to compete. You can see a, a list of races, and we'll do here a short dash. I'm going to go ahead and select that, and then I can wager against the, way, uh, yeah, against the race creator. Okay. I'm hit the game. And now what it's doing, it's waiting for us to, it's waiting to find GPS, a good GPS fix. Okay. And that takes a little while with the uh, Android phone. Sure. The iPhones are a little faster. Sure. It's definitely How accurate are the uh, GPSs? Uh, it, it, it certainly depends on, on the location. So um, uh, right now we're within about um, 4 to 20 feet. So it's a relatively large range. But at times we can get it down to within the 3 feet. So it really depends on like a lot of the weather conditions and where you are. For example, in downtown San Francisco, GPS is rather spotty. But yeah. when you're outdoors, typically tends to be a lot better. Okay. So uh, I'm on the um, start button just came up because we're here. Uh, so I'm going to hit start. Sunshot, music starts playing. Now we're walking, we're doing the race. 
usually people are going to be playing this with headphones on, so as soon as you got, you'll be able to get first view. We just crossed the finish line, we got a big round of applause, going to hit continue. Now I can share it with all my friends here, or with Google Plus, Gmail, anything, and do that. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to hit OK, and I actually, looks like I lost 25. <coughs> 25 coins and I got a notification uh -huh. here saying that I just lost uh -huh. 25 coins so all the race because the previous guy beat you exactly which is me <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh, so that's dash very cool